Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have a topic to talk to you about that's, that's really just a hint of something. Um, but it is something that I've been thinking about for a long time. I have talked on these themes in the past in, in using different kinds of visualizations and analogies. The things that, that are variously named the the soul wounding, the karmic miasmic distortions, the morphogenetic field distortions, and the samskaras, and the, they're sometimes called the lost children of the soul, or uh, the, um, the traumatic repressed memories that we have from this and prior incarnations. All of that stuff that's going to be transformed. And this goes double for the light worker because the light worker will have many injuries through the many incarnations that are like this. So, so what you might think of it is you have this magnificent body of light, gigantic, magnificent soul field, right? And, and also you have inclusions of darkness. You can feel them sometimes. They're completely transient. In other words, they they can be resolved just like that through love. Physical disease is one of those, one of those aspects of the shadow. So within the field of light, there's a field of relative darkness that can be, you could imagine that, that you could separate them out. Beautiful bright light and on the other side, something kind of like chicken pox is on fair skin, you know. Um, kind of a, 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 a relative void or a lack of love or you might see it as darkness or you might hear it as dissonant chatter not a unity field not um, harmonic like a slight disharmonic with the cosmic ohm or the cosmic um, chant the, the divine sound of the universe you know something slightly off key it just different it's just different, and it's almost as if there were an overlay of like irregular light or lack of unity or inclusions of void or darkness or lack of love in the soul field, which is perfect light. Okay? Um, and I, there were times when I toyed with the notion because. Because I had some experiences of like hearing on the clear, in the clear audience realm that people who were very much spiritually inclined and all for the good of the world would then, when they fell asleep, you, you, they would express a very deep darkness like um, uh, a desire to injure people that they love with, with disease and like that, you know. And, and more and more so in, in natal families, in uh, groups that are very well bonded together and like that, I see expressed, like the repressed, uh, socially unacceptable, you know, anger or dislike or, or even hatred that they feel towards uh, any negative emotion that they feel toward others in their group will be expressed uh, out of the un will leap spring out of the unconscious as they are asleep and be expressed as a actually an action in the world through their um, astral f form while they sleep so so this was so shocking to me I mean I have to assume that I'm doing it too everybody's doing it <laughs> <laughs> and it fits in with this theory that there are like um, these inclusions of like little hatred, like I said, chickenpox hatred and, you know, fear and all kinds of negative things and even vengeance, greed, everything that they talk about that's not the, the right thing, pride, <sighs> sloth, they sometimes say, they, you can look at all, all of the... Uh, you know, stories that they have about the cardinal sins and so forth. All those things are like repressed in the very spiritual and in a lot of other people too, and then taken into acting out an action in the astral realm as the mental mind sleeps and as the astral body, which still needs to clear, uh, expresses itself like, leaps forth and expresses itself as we sleep, right? So this fits in with the story of, 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 of all that. And I kind of see it like that, like 
like the person and then you see the negative image of the per person sometimes on Google, right? Google images. Uh, so so the, as the two, as being that which actually composes this polarity this of this dimension, it's actually extremely scary because why do we volunteer for something like this? It's sort of like the late night horror show, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that we don't even know that that we're expressing something terrible, you know, on the astral plane as we sleep and creating this reality through that unconsciousness, right? Which is all rising to awareness now. So, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's ending. But, um, and our souls understand that, it, that we needed to do this in order to create this reality, I feel. But, uh, but from this standpoint, like being not in total communication with my soul yet I'm still taken aback by all this Leela thing that's happening especially since I thought I was a totally good person <laughs> I mean I mean there's it's rare for a person to feel that they that they have these these qualities you know and yet all the old light workers are coming up with this right now oh my gosh syndrome <laughs> oh my golly syndrome <laughs> and so and so, and everybody else, too, is being faced with a lot of stuff that's, as the light comes in, like these, these karmic miasmic distortions, is, is like ratcheting against the light. It's like kaboom, ratcheting against the light and, and stirring itself up into like a complete frenzy with this mental chaos thing that's going on on this newospheric dissonance. And, and so, and so everybody's noticing, and it's like, we are hearing ourselves saying things that we would never consider would, could come from our subconscious minds just because it's always been subconscious, I think. So, we're not that. We're the eternal soul and so forth. And so, along those lines, I know this sounds fantastically weird. So, but if you should start coming up with um, a lot of like nightmare scenarios in the Claire realm and like that, know that, that, that in fact this is all resolving right now. That's what's happening. Huh. It was always there. We just didn't know it. <laughs> and uh, I just had like one more thing to say about that. You know what we think of as the demonic realm. I, I waver back and forth on this. Sometimes I think maybe they're antimatter. <laughs> I don't know enough about antimatter to make that a true thing. But sometimes I think all negative motions, like whether from the demon realm or from wherever, they're all antimatter somehow. Because matter is love, is it not? And light. Is it not? And what could hate be but the opposite? I mean, if you sense anything like hatred or fear in yourself, do your best to rid yourself of that right away. Because and 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 you can do that by just just um, concentrating on your heart, and and even if you're getting a lot of like mental chaos and a lot of stuff coming in from like the Hollywood mental filter that's out there and the you know, the 007 mental filter <laughs> for the guys. Then there's um, patriarchal domination, and uh, and uh, there's a lot of things that there's just a million things that are happening in the world today that are that are hard, They're really hard to to bear for a person whose heart is open. And so, hearing those things, physically or or on the astral realm tends to close our hearts, right? So the thing to do is just relax the heart and open the heart, okay? Even if we have a, like a pattern of hatred or vengeance or whatever it is, just keep the heart, uh, the, the muscles there, the muscles in the chest open when we notice that it's closing. And I think, I think that will really help to get through this. So, antimatter and no antimatter. <laughs> you can send the, the antimatter back to God through the heart. <laughs> so.